Hello, welcome back. In our last video, we have recorded our first VUGen script and the script is looking like this. We have went to the Moodle homepage and then we log in and then we give the user ID password and submit the form and then we move to the test course and log out. So there are five activities or there are five C APIs that VUGen gave us in the script. So this is how it works. Okay, so this is your browser and then VUGen basically sits between the client and the and the server and then so listen to traffic and then it generate okay and then the code generation can happen in two ways one is called HTML mode and number two is called URL mode okay so by default is generate in HTML mode however certain sometime we need to move to the URL mode in this video my goal is to explain you this HTML mode and URL mode and 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 give you an idea how this HTML mode and URL mode differ okay but remember that the, the traffic whatever is listened that is there so that is this is constant and what we can do we can regenerate the script in URL mode by default we have HTML mode we can regenerate in URL mode or you can even go and re-record using recording option to by changing the rec recording option to URL based script you can you, you, you can you can you can record it okay this is by default is HTML mode and it's very compact and it's very readable okay and let's move let's see if we can generate the script using URL mode and go to this URL based script and do OK and say OK and it is now regenerating the VUGER script. So this is essentially reading the traffic and regenerating the same thing in URL mode. So basically this is the script. So now what I have done, I have created two more script by doing this regeneration. One is URL mode recording and the second one is HTML mode recording. HTML mode recording is exactly same as the demo script. All right. So let's see what are the difference. If you go to the URL based recording, so first one call is web URL, and then so so then it is it doing lot of request to get the JavaScript file, image files, and so on. Whereas in case of our HTML mode recording, if you go to the action, everything was happening as a part of extra res. Okay, so that is a, you know that that is one different. And if you see, in case of URL mode mode recording, whenever we are going to go to this login, okay, so this is the login URL. This is a login. This is a login a login request in case of URL mode recording. In case of HTML mode recording, the login like this. So login was generated by something called web underscore link in HTML mode. In URL mode, it is web URL and you are giving the direct URL path. So what is happening here in case of HTML uh, HTML mode, so we are getting the the first the front page. Okay, and the front page is going to look like this. And then we are seeing there is something a login link. So what happened what happened exactly is VUGen VUGen whenever it's going to run it is going to execute the first step and then it will parse the the response of this of this page and the response of this page is basically this URL so this HTML page and in this HTML page it will find a link called login and then in the second step is going to click on that login whereas in case of URL mode recording whereas whereas in case of URL mode, mode recording it's just going to directly go to this URL okay so essentially what is happening in case of HTML mode recording so step so this is the step one and then step two so step one and step two are dependent that means if for whatever reason if the step one is failed that means it is not going to find the login link here okay if it's not going to find the login link there then the step two which is which is doing this web link login is going to fail okay so that is what exactly is going to happen here in case of uh, HTML mode but in case of URL mode since we are directly accessing this URL 
so that that's why even if the step one fails in url mode in the url mode if the step one fails then still step two can work so what does it mean this is called context sensitive so why it's called context sensitive because view gen at runtime parses the result of the step one and take the next action whereas the step one and step two are completely independent and they are context insensitive and another thing that you must be knowing that since view gen is trying to parse the intermediary steps so therefore if you run in HTML mode it will be more CPU intensive and memory intensive because it will take more CPU and more memory as it, it is going to parse whereas in URL mode it does not require that much CPU and memory another important thing is that whenever there is some hidden variable or or session variables and those kind of things are there then in HTML mode since we since view gen understanding the steps so therefore view gen is going to take appropriate action so that those things will not fail but whereas in URL mode since we are not understanding anything about we're just just bombarding the request like that so therefore it is, is it, those kind of things where there is some dynamic value it might fail so so this is the main difference between HTML mode and URL mode all right and then you can see like you know on wh what cases we are going to do HTML mode on what cases we are going to do URL mode it depends so first you start with HTML mode and if things does not work then view gen automatically switch back to the URL mode all right and and it and also like you know if you want to really make a scalable scalable script and you, you should consider URL URL mode and you should also take care of the correlation and all those dynamic values yourself programmatically all right so this is the main difference between HTML mode and URL mode and also like you know a couple of more things are there basically the first thing is that we are accessing the first page and also whatever associated uh, images so those things we are starting starting to get so that means like you know if you if you look at uh, a, a, a general browser like say whenever you go to a web page let's say google.com so you get the HTML and also you are getting the images and then JavaScript or CSS or whatever there in that in that front page you are getting that so what browser does browser simultaneously request all those images on a concurrent fashion okay so that is what that is what you are seeing here that web concurrent start null means like oh, starting from here until until web concurrent end so these requests are going to be accessed concurrently so that means in URL mode the, the emulation would be more realistic like just like a browser so before I finish so here is the main comparison between HTML and, and URL mode that so a script is context sensitive whereas script is independent of step one step two is independent of step one all right and then since virtual user generator need to parse the response to take the next action so we need more CPU and memory on the machine on which this script is going to run and here no parsing therefore the CPU and memory utilization is less compared to the HTML mode recording and uh, HTML mode recording records user trigger HTML actions and also all other resources like images JavaScript CSS are tagged under extra res whereas in case of a URL mode recording we are using web concurrent start and web concurrent end and we are emulating the better better concurrency just like a web browser all right and here like you know in HTML mode since the context resources are dynamically figured out during runtime so therefore the script is less hard coded and in the next video we will see how a url mode recording is going to fail and we will learn a technique how to fix that thank you so much for your time